Hello, Mr. and Mrs. America and everybody else. Welcome back to Power Director Made Simple. In today's video, we are finally going to get a chance to create a real slideshow using just the theme designer templates. Yes, we've had enough of the boring tutorials about how everything works and what everything means. So let's get to work. Using the latest version of PowerDirector 365, I'll open Theme Designer from the Tools menu. I'm going to check in the box at the top of the Memory Field template. This will automatically select all of the segments for this template. I'll click on OK and enter into the Theme Designer window itself. Next, I'll click on Import Media. From this folder, I'm going to hit Ctrl A to select all and then click Open. Notice that I have six JPEG photos and six MP4 video files. The reason for that is the memory field template is somewhat unique in that all of the sequences can be either all photos, all video clips, or a mix of both. So let's see how exactly that can work. In this first sequence, look at the placeholder which shows two icons, meaning it will take either a movie or a still image. I'm going to make this slideshow using all video clips in every sequence. I'll start with my first video clip number one and continue in that order and manually place it in the first vacant placeholder spot. I'll click on the second sequence where I'll add my number two video clip. I'll continue that same method all the way through to the sixth sequence. You can see that the sixth sequence has only one placeholder and that is currently occupied by the continuation of the last clip. I'm going to uncheck that continuation option so that I can use my number six video instead. Before we click on OK, we could play the entire video in the preview window, but I can tell you right now that some of the video clips are way too long. So let's look at number six by clicking on the trim icon on the clip. It tells you that this video already has a duration of 30 seconds. Now, most people don't want to watch a slideshow of a butterfly for 30 seconds, so let's trim this clip and all the other ones down to about six seconds each. I'll just move the mark out indicator from the far right towards the left until the duration is about six seconds and then click on trim. Alternatively, I could have chosen the last six seconds of the video or I could have chosen six seconds from anywhere in the video. Now, contrary to what other YouTube channels say about trimming videos in Theme Designer and the minimum time being 10 seconds, you can see that they are wrong. We have just now trimmed down a video to about six seconds, and you can go even shorter if desired. I need to check and adjust the duration of all the other video clips, so I'll just click on the fifth sequence and I'll keep working backwards. This one has a duration of nearly 15 seconds, so I'll trim from the ending to the same six seconds and then click on trim. I'll quickly step through all the other sequences, trimming each of them to about the same six second duration. Let's now click on OK and the entire slideshow is entered onto the timeline. Let's click on play and watch some. Finally, you would click on the blue export button at the top to create your slideshow in an MPEG 4 format or any other format of your choosing. The slideshow we just created was using all video clips. So let's use the same template and create another slideshow using all photos instead. I'm going to return back to the editing page. 
I can leave our current slideshow on the timeline and just open up the theme designer from the tools menu. I'll select the same template, a memory field, and hit OK. This time I'll start placing the images as before. When I get to the end, I'm going to uncheck that continuation option so that I'll be able to place my last photo number six. Now at this point, you would normally be done, but there is what I consider a minor design bug to this template. By default, it is allowing only about two seconds for each photo. Now nobody wants to watch a slideshow with a photo zoom in and out so fast that there's no time to really view them. So I'm gonna go to each image and adjust the duration by clicking on the small clock icon on the image. Notice that number six was set for just over two seconds. I'll change the number two to a number four and click on OK. I'll then continue to work backwards and click on the previous sequence to make the same adjustments. Notice that I don't have to adjust the first image on each of the middle sequences because that image is a continuation from its previous sequence which is where I'll actually make the duration adjustment. Now when done, I can preview the entire video in the preview window, or I can hit OK to finish. I know my work is perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. The new slideshow has been added to the timeline. Notice that it takes just over 39 seconds to display six photos. That works out to a little over six seconds per image, even though we set a duration for four seconds. The difference is the fancy imagery of how the template brings in one photo to the next. So let's play our new slideshow. That's all there is to it. Once you know the secret of how the sequences work, you should be able to start creating your own slideshows with a mix of video clips and still photos that will look highly professional. So get creative and have fun doing it. In the next video, we'll take a very quick look at the music preferences within Theme Designer. That should prove interesting. Once again, I hope you have found this helpful. If so, please click on the like button. And make sure you are subscribed to my channel. All those likes and increased subscribers help me earn nearly six cents from each video, and that is needed to feed and clothe my family of 12 children. Thank you.